Hi, my name is Stephen Rudin, and I'm a collage and multimedia artist living in New York City. If life had gone according to plan, right now I would be an artist in residence deep in the woods in upstate New York at the prestigious Shaw North Art Residency Program. But that's not going to happen as planned. In the spirit of adaptation, I've created this video describing a little bit about my philosophy and what I've been working on. My art philosophy is based on the idea that collage is a metaphor for memory. That just like collage, memories are made up of fragments that are arranged in layers. And that each time we bring up a memory, we arrange those fragments and layers in a slightly different way. And the way we do that is based on the way that we feel, maybe even more than what happened. This idea about the relationship between collage and memory is based on my experience as a psychiatrist I have a particular um, uh, expertise in post-traumatic stress disorder because I was involved with a September 11th task force in 2001 when I was a really young psychiatrist. So it made a major imprint on the way that I saw everything from that point forward. I am interested in applying collage as a therapy, but I'm also just interested in applying collage as an idea. So another medium that I've been experimenting with during the pandemic is Photoshop. I always believed that Photoshop would give me a greater understanding about memory. So I took this Photoshop course at FIT, it was four weeks. The last session was on March 11th, which was pretty much the day we went into like panic mode in New York. I feel like, you know, I feel like that there's a characterization of my vision that would never be able to be seen by an ophthalmologist, you know, or optometrist, you know, you wouldn't be able to detect it, but I feel a perceptual difference. And what I would like to express in Photoshop is what does that perceptual difference look like? In other words, if I take one of my regular collages, which is already coming from my imagination, and then I take it through the lens of the way that I feel now, how does it look different? based on my mood. And that's what I've been experimenting with too.